Hi, it's Kari Mason, founder and president of FirstClassCreativity.com. Thank you for joining me. I am so excited to share with you a little sneak peek of my Digital Studio 2 and my Digital Studio 2 Plus. Now, did you know you can try my Digital Studio 2 for a free trial for 30 days? You can, and you can see a link on this page here uh, that will take you right to a uh, place where you can take the free trial and you'll get some instructional videos similar to this one as well, but with a lot more content. This is just a little sneak peek to pique your curiosity. This is a great program. They've made lots and lots of changes to the regular My Digital Studio program, which was awesome in itself, but this, this is really great. What I'm going to show you is a basic way to create a card. Now when you bring up your new project options, which will happen after you download your program, um, I have a video on my YouTube channel that will go through how to download your program, and although it's for My Digital Studio, it, it's the same steps, just My Digital Studio too. So uh, you, if you need help on learning how to download it, then you can just take that tutorial, no problem. Okay, so once you bring up, bring it, download it, and you click on the icon, and My Digital Studio 2 loads up, you have new project options. And here you have a plethora of possibilities to create. You have your photo books and individual pages, you have your cards and tags, the calendars, designer templates, journals, and custom where you can choose and do anything you want. The opportunities are truly endless. But not to overwhelm you, we're going to go ahead with cards and tags. And here you have a greeting card, postcard, trifold card, or a tag. We're going to select the greeting card. And from here you have seven sizes to choose from. A 5x7 portrait, a 7x5 landscape, a 6x6 six six square, a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inch portrait and or landscape, or a 3 and a half by 5 portrait or 5 by 3 and a half landscape. So we're going to go ahead with the 6x6 six six square. We're going to select designer. Now what designer does is it makes it for you. It's already pre-designed by our awesome artist with the Stampin' Up! Home Office. So I'm going to go ahead and select this Christmas jingle one and select next. And here you can add extra things, but you can just go ahead and click next. Pick and click your individual photos. You can add a photo to this card if you want. Name your project. Select finish. And then it's going to load up that, that designer template. Depending on how fast your computer is and how many embellishments are on the page, that's how long it will take. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is this is a really cute card already. And when you have it printed and sent to your house, which I do want to let you know, we have 31% off our printing uh, for the month August 2012. So if you're listening to this and it's August 2012 and it's not past that, you get 31% off all your printing that you do through uh, Stampin' Ups. And I'll, I can show you that in a later video. Or no, well, actually, I'll show you that at the end of this video really quick. But... This is a great card, and I'm thinking you can make it a hybrid card by putting some glitter on this guy here and maybe some rhinestones or pearls. Speaking of which, I do have that in a digital form. So I'm going over here to embellishments, and I could browse, and it'll bring up everything I have, but I have the basic pearls and rhinestones. And I'm going to go ahead and click a little rhinestone and put it on each one of these ornaments. So I'm left clicking with my mouse and bringing it up to the ornament and then releasing it. This one here, I want to move over here because it's too small for that particular ornament, that size. These are pretty good, so if you don't like it, just you know, click and drag till you have it to the point where you want it. I'm going to select the next size here for this big one, big ornament. Actually, I'm going to go with the, the bigger size yet because I th don't think that's big enough yet. So once you have this printed and it's in your hands, then you can go ahead and put regular rhinestones on it or keep it like this and you can add glitter to it so it'll give it a little bit more of what we call a hybrid look, which I think is really important. So there's your card. 
awesome, right? So there's so many other things we could do to this card, but I'm not going to overwhelm you. This is this little sneak peek. So just remember you take that, that free trial and you're going to get more instruction. Okay, so down here in this little table, right here on this little grid, you have one is your first page. That's the front of the card. Two would be the inside of the 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 uh of the front page. Three is where you would want to put your sentiment and four is the back page. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go up here to stamp and resource palette and you can also do your stamp here in the uh toolbar and you can also select stamps from clicking over here in the design center. I'm just going to go here and take something out of a Cardinal Christmas Blessing. I'm going to double click on it and boom, it brings it up right there. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. So I'm going to go over here to change color. I'm going to left click that and I'm going to choose Real Red. And if you hover over a color, it'll tell you what color it is. And there we go. And then here's the back page. And here, with it being the back page, is where I would encourage you to go ahead and select text, add text, and put created by, and your name. And then you can just grab one of these corners and bring that up there. Left click it, bring it down here. Remove that, and if you notice, these are little bleed lines. You don't want anything in there because it won't print. So next we're going to go ahead over to the Design Center and we're going to check our project. Okay, so that looks good. And then, if I want to share it, I can go ahead and send it as a JPEG, a PNG, or a PDF file. But if I want to order my project, I just go to Order Project card and tag, put in my username and password, I log in, and then it will take you from there to order your items at 31% in the month of August. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at all. I am here for you, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.